Check this out. I just used this free AI design tool from Google to create a professional app design and then used another free AI tool from Google and turn it into a fully functioning app. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I did this in just two prompts and how you can do the exact same thing to go from a bad to professional level designed app in minutes. So without further ado, let's dive right into this tutorial. All right, guys, so let's break this down a little bit more. So as you could see inside of this product here that is completely free to use by Google, and I'm gonna show you how to use it here in a second, I generated this entire app design. As you can see, it shows each of the different pages here. So we have the project dashboard page right here that actually shows these different yards. We have the ability to upload projects here. And guys, the design is flawless. And this was done in one single prompt, as you can see on the left-hand side. And I'm gonna actually build one from scratch with you guys so you can see how easy it is to do. And the best part about this is not only do we have this design here and we can make all these changes and iterations and there's so many extra things you could do, but you could instantly just export this into Google AI Studio, which is Google's AI app building platform that is also free to use. And we'll actually turn this into a working prototype instead of just like this design layout. So first of all, let me show you exactly how to do this. You're gonna come over to Stitch by Google and then we're gonna see this interface here. You can see that the product's in beta, but it's really good. And what we could do is we could click on app design or web design. As you can see for this project, this was an app design for a mobile app, or we could click on web design. First of all, let's start with our app. And then one thing I want to mention is we could actually upload a website URL if we're trying to recreate a website, for example. So let me show you another example. I wanted to recreate this website here, this landing page and the design of it. And what I did is I uploaded it to Stitch and it created this user interface here that is replicating this one right here. It's not the exact same, but it looks really similar. It kind of got the same vibe of it. And basically what I could do is I could just take this and turn this into a interactive landing page inside of Google AI Studio. But going back to this, let me just go here and show you exactly how it works. We could click on whichever model we want to use. For this, we're going to use Gemini 3 Pro because that is the model that is is phenomenal when it comes to AI vibe coding design. It's really, really good. It's almost as good as like a professional level designer good, that sort of thing. But you just need to be specific with what prompts we give it because if we give it kind of a basic prompt, we're gonna get a basic output. All right, so let me go ahead and actually just use, let's use one of these pre-made prompts here. And I might make a couple iterations and just show you the different outputs before we move forward with exporting this to Google AI Studio and turning it into a functional app. Also guys, if you're enjoying this video, me covering these free free AI tools you can use right now. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. It means the world. I cover all things AI. I explain it in a non-technical way. So even if you don't know how to code or anything, you could still use all of the platforms that I showcase. And just like that, we got this singular page of what our app would look like. I mean, that's a pretty solid design, but we want to do something where it actually generates multiple pages in the entire app. So I think that was too basic of a prompt. So let me go back and try another use case. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste in this prompt here. I want a Swiss styled Apple designed app that is used for landscapers to show demos of client projects. This is basically the same prompt that I used in my previous use case. So let me go ahead and go from here and I'm gonna make some changes to it and not just go ahead with that first initial one that it gives us. And I'm gonna show you kind of the other features that is so impactful inside of Stitch and makes it so easy for us to create amazing looking designs. So first of all, if I look over here, it's asking if it wants me to create all of them because it says there's gonna be five different screens or six different screens. So welcome screen, project dashboard, client project details. So yes, let's create all of these screens here and let's give it a shot. So so while this is designing, you can see that we now have these six different pages here that it's actually working on and coding in the back end. It shows that it's assembling the components here and it even shows the estimated time. So it looks like it should be another 50 seconds or so. All in all, this will take about two minutes for it to actually generate these. And guys, look at this output. This is genuinely insane if you think about it. So it created the welcome screen here. It called it Verdant View. Visualize your perfect sanctuary before you plant. It shows the project page, it shows the client project dashboard, style selection, generated concepts, and then it shows the presentation mode that you could actually present to your client. Guys, this is crazy. Like this so far, but let me go ahead and just make a couple of changes here. Let's just come here and I'm going to come back to our chat and just say, I like this a lot. Keep everything the same, but I want the green accents of the app to be red, to be more of that Swiss style design. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what that comes up with. And 
instead of it having that green user interface and different components here, it should have like a more red tone to it. Just cause I wanna see a couple different outputs before I move forward and actually turn this into a fully functioning app. All right guys, so take a look at this. Not only did it generate this version that has these red accents that I think looks really good, but it also kept our original here. So we could like mix and match as we would like. We could drag these around. We could then select all of these or whichever ones we want to make changes to or to import into our app. Let me go ahead and see different edits I can make. First of all, I could add this to chat. So as you could see, it's pulling this up here and we could just describe our design and make a change to this single different page right here. Or we could even annotate this using Nano Banana. And for example, we could just like highlight something and just say like change this or make a specific change to that. That is really cool. But guys, I think this is a really good starting point. So what I'm gonna do now is let me take this design and I'm gonna show you the best part about this. We could directly import this into Google AI Studio to make it a functional app. So we're gonna click on more. We're gonna click on export and you can see I could take this to jewels.zip, copy to clipboard, but I'm gonna take it to Google AI Studio and then let's just say, make this real and functional. Click build with AI Studio and it's gonna drag all of these HTML files and the like images of this directly into Google AI Studio. And then it will go ahead and build that using Gemini 3 Pro here. So let me just click on build, so let it code and do its thing. And then let's see what it looks like here in a couple of minutes. Let's now do a side-by-side -side comparison. So on the right-hand side, we have Google AI Studio's app that it went ahead and built for us. And the left-hand side, we have Google Stitch that generated this design. So I wanna see the congruency. How close to this does it look? Is it exactly the same? Are there a little bit of differences? So let's go ahead and take a look. So first of all, let me reload this app here and our home screen looks the exact same. You could see that it has the same icons, has the same color, everything. I can click get started. And then it takes us now to our projects dashboard that you could see right here. And this looks exactly the same. We have all of our projects. We could sort through the active, pending, and completed. This looks great. And then this is the next page here. It shows client project details. So if I click on one of these listings or one of these different images, it'll take us here. And this looks, guys, this looks exactly, exactly like how Google Stitch spun this up. This looks phenomenal. Yeah, I don't even know what else to say. So far, so good. It's looking good, but we need to make sure that we make a fully functioning app. So I'm going to come back to Google AI Studio and then let's just make some changes here to make sure that this is, you know, working properly. All right, so let's try this out. I tried at first and it wasn't generating the images. I needed to actually add an API key. So it was using Nano Banana, but let's try it now. So if I click on new project, it takes us to this new project, new client page. And then I could simply just click on upload an image. I'm going to upload this image of this yard in this house here. And you can see we could define our vision. Do we want modern? Do we want Zen? Do we want Mediterranean? For the sake of it, let's just click on modern and see what that gives us. I could click on build preview and then it begins creating this. So let's give it just a couple of seconds and we should see an output here. Boom, and just like that, I'm gonna show a side-by-side. -side. So we have our first image, which is this right here. You can see this is the exact same house. Um, it even looks like a different time of day, which is interesting that it went ahead and did that to show a bit of the ambiance that we could actually create. But look at this. And then we could even like zoom in on that and then click approve here. And now we have our project added to our projects. So guys, there is how we do it. This is not perfect. I will say if I wanna make this fully functional, functional and I want to actually go ahead and list this, it would take me a couple more prompts to actually refine this, make sure every single thing is working properly. We went from a design like this just by vibe coding and then turn this design that we could tailor towards however we want it to look. And then we turned it into this functional app here. And if we want to deploy this, we could just click on deploy app, select a project, and it'll deploy to a custom URL that we could actually access or any of our friends could access. And if we want to take this into something like cursor, we can then save this to GitHub, download that code, and actually begin refining it and doing everything we want to like build a backend to our app, for example. So guys, if you guys got some value from this video, please leave a like, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for saying the end. And I hope Hope you enjoy these free AI tools by Google. There will be a link in the description to use them. This is not a sponsored video. So without further ado, guys, see you guys in the next one.